She's a diamond. She's a diamond girl. She's a diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Hi YouTube, it's Princess Diamond. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I'll be doing some mini straight back braids for you guys and just sharing a few tips to help you along the way when you're doing this style. For the ombre um, color that I'll be using is the color 27 there on the far left. In the middle, I have my cream and sugar hair blend. And then on the far right, I have the cream and sugar hair blend just mixed in a different ratio to give more of a cream or yeah, give more of a lighter cream color. So starting out is I'm parting a row in the back of her head. And this row is to help with getting all of the feet and braids to reach at the very back. So that way, so they all fit because the front of the head is much wider than the back of the head. And this row also will help with making the braids look fuller. So feel free to um do two rows of this if you want i'm just doing some regular box braids you can do knotless box braids if you have a concern on the tension back there you can do knotless box braids but again um one row if you want to make it fuller you can do two rows so you can do another row right on top of that um, i'm just going to do one row so we're doing these pretty long. Um, I think these come down to maybe her knees. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial on how to extend length, I do have a video on that. I will link it for you guys to check it out. Or if you want to see how to do ombre and ombre look, again, I have another detailed tutorial on that. I will link that for you guys as well to go check it out because I just didn't want this video to be super long. I just want to focus on the feed in or the straight back um, tips here. So, as you guys could see, I did a middle part, and so I used her the, her nose as a um, guide and the back um, where her neck bone is, <laughs> so I just connected those two, and that's how I was able to make sure that my middle part is straight. So my middle part is my guide. I start with the middle part, and then I start braiding from that middle part towards the ears instead of braiding from the ears towards the middle part because i found that it made my braids straighter if i was braiding from the ears to the middle part i started to slant my braids a little bit so for me it was easier to braid starting from the middle part now keep in mind you guys all the tips that i'm giving is just for those that are seeking tips and seeking help if you have a certain way that you do these, baby, feel free to continue to do it how you prefer or how it's working for you. I'm not coming on here to tell anybody to change the way they're doing, you know, this style. Again, I'm just giving tips for those that are um, interested in or needing the, the tips. So this is more like a beginner guide for those that are not used to doing straight back braids. When I do it this way, I find that I don't have to pre-section the hair unless there is a certain amount of braids that I'm doing. So for these, they're just mini braids, so I'm just doing whatever can fit. <laughs> but if I were doing, let's just say, specifically 10 braids, then yeah, I would still start with my middle part. So I'll have my two halves, and I would know that five braids would go on the right five braids would go on you know the left and so i can section it and in, in that way to make sure that i'm using that exact exact amount of braids but other than that if i'm just doing these mini feed in braids i don't necessarily have to section my part starts to slant they will always slant once i get towards the back because remember again the back is uh, smaller than the front of the head. So every time I part, I make sure that part comes to almost the point when I get to the very back to make it smaller. That's to make sure that it all fits. Okay, I think I showed it a little better here. So you can see how this part is. The um, the amount is a little thicker in the front 
Then once I get to the back, you'll see that the part starts to thin out. So it's a little thinner towards the back. And that's what I mean to help all the braids to fit. Okay, so as far as the feed-in process, I wanted to intentionally show you guys the whole feed-in braids for these first two braids so you can see the amounts that I'm feeding in because a lot of people always ask how many um, how many parts are you feeding in and you won't you won't feed in the same amount for each braid so you guys can see these braids will be much the braids in the middle will be much longer than the braids on the side so you're gonna always use a different amount you just kind of have to practice and just get a feel of how thick you want these braids to be if the hair needs more um, extension added if it doesn't then just go ahead and continue to you know braid the hair till you get to where it needs more hair added to add in a little bit more thickness You'll see that when I do the braids on the sides, the ones next to her ears, that I'm adding in the the hair more frequently than I am like on these section, sections. And I'm also adding in bigger sections because those braids are just shorter, so they need more thickness. They need more hair to add more thickness quickly. Hopefully that makes sense, but if it doesn't, just keep watching. You guys will see me do those last few uh, braids on the sides, and you'll be, be able to see how different I do it from the braids in the middle. So that's why I don't really answer the question of how many sections need to be feeded in the braids, because it's, it's always going to be different.
So I just continue to follow each section all the way to the very end. So now you can see I'm still starting out with small sections as I'm feeding it in, but I am adding in these sections more frequently and then you can also tell that my sections are larger than the ones in the middle because i need to add more thickness since these braids are much shorter i don't have a lot of her natural hair that will naturally add in the fullness or the thickness so i have to add in that those extension braids When I got to the very last braid, I realized that this braid may be a little spaced out than the rest. I really wanted it to be really close together right there at the nape. So what I did was I just took a little bit of braiding hair and I crocheted it in this braid next to it. And then I'm just going to feed in that braiding hair with the last braid. And this will just help it to keep it close together. So it's not, this last braid is not gappy or ga yeah, gappier than the other braids. And you can use this technique with really any type of hairstyle that you're doing. You know, I could have just left out a little section of the braiding hair on the second to last piece, but I didn't realize that it was going to look like this until I got to this very last piece. So, you know, just being a little innovative. But I think that's all of the tips that I that I have for this hairstyle or for this video. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, going, um, starting back from the middle and going to the left side, her all the way to the left side of her ears, and then I'll be completed. So no, de no need in showing the whole process again, cause I'm doing the exact same thing, but I'll let you guys see the finishing results. And that's it. I hope I shared something helpful for you guys. If nothing at all, I hope at the least you guys enjoyed the look of these braids and the finishing results. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you guys be blessed, stay protected, and stay filled with love and peace. Bye, guys. Bye.